We're looking at solving a logarithmic equation using properties of logarithms and the inverse property. First, we want to recall when we have products, logarithm of x times y is the log of x plus the log of y. So we can break up one logarithm into separate individual logs. We'll be using this property in the opposite direction. Log of x divided by y would be log of x minus log of y. We have an exponent property. Log of x to a power a would be that power a times the log of x. And we're taking advantage of our inverse property. a raised to the log base a of x is x, so where a and log base a are the inverses of each other. So we want to solve the log of x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus the log of the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 3. So first, we want to isolate our logarithms on one side of the equation. Now our logs are on one side of the equation. We have the number 3 on the other side. So our logarithms are already isolated. Life is good. Next, what we can do is combine our logarithms. We're going to use the properties of logarithms to combine our two separate logs into one single expression, one single logarithm. So I will have log of. Notice we have subtraction between these two logarithms. That means I'll be using my quotient property. This would be the log of the first one, x squared plus 2x minus 3, divided by that x minus 1. Because we had subtraction, we will use the quotient property and rewrite our two separate logarithms into one log itself. Now we have this logarithm equal to 3. Notice it will not always happen, but we can try to simplify inside our log function first. I can't help the fact that we have this quadratic. It's got me thinking maybe it's factorable. x times x is x squared, a positive 3 and a negative 1 would give me a complete factorization and notice our denominator is x minus 1. So here we're actually going to have simplification. It's going to yield to a kinder equation to solve. So this is simplified into the log of x plus 3 equal to 3. Since we have that one logarithm by itself, remember, log by itself, the log, is log base 10. This is where we can exponentiate each side of the equation. We will take 10 raised to the log base 10 of x plus 3 and set it equal to 10 raised to the third power. So the right-hand side of the equation becomes an exponent for the number 10. The left-hand side of the equation becomes the exponent for the number 10, and we used the number 10 as the base because we had a base 10 logarithm. Our inverse property will allow us to take 10, log base 10 of x plus 3, equal to 10 to the third, and simplify because 10 and log base 10 are inverses. They would cancel out, leaving only the argument x plus 3. 10 to the third power is 1,000. So we have the resulting equation x plus 3 is equal to 1,000, and that's pretty painless to solve. I can simply subtract from both sides of this equation. So we have x is the number 997. It does pay always to check our solutions.
If we go back to the original equation, log of x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus the log of x minus 1, will this equal 3? Plugging in 997 into our equation is going to yield an ungodly large number, 996,000, minus the log of, plugging in the 997, yields 996. Will this actually equal to 3? Well, remember, because this is subtraction, I can divide this number by this number. That's just going to give me the log of 1,000. You didn't really think you'd need a calculator for this, did you? And the log of 1,000 is indeed the number 3, because 10 to the third power would be 1,000. That checks, which means we have found our unique solution, x, must be the value 997. And that's quite enough done.